Hey guys, remember last week a change came about when Fava moved into the recliner? Well since then there's been two other changes. Like what? We no longer have a trap door that goes down to the basement. I had a good idea. Through the cubby hole, I had Robo Chris build another stairwell underneath the staircase that leads down to the basement. Where was the other change? Oh, I've moved the telephone booth that comes up from the basement. Where to? I'll show you. <laughs> Ow! Oh, yeah, I forgot it moves faster too. My bad. I promise there are no more changes. What are you doing? Look at see if there's an anvil above me. Why would there be an anvil? It's something you would do. Yeah, because I put an anvil into every episode every week. Sheesh. Anyway, I've been sent a letter from a Mr. Nosy and he asks, how do you maintain your robot? So I'm going to tell you how. Mr. Nosy? Probably oh, really oh. There is no probably about it. First you need to make sure your robot is well lubricated, for that you need oil. Robocrust drinks a pint a week, although recently I think he's been indulging a little. Being a robot he doesn't need much exercise or sleep, but he does need to recharge. For that he goes down into the basement. When I first built him his charge port was in, well, let's say a cheeky place. In other words, off his off. Yes Percy, quite. It is now in his armpit. What was that? I now use the old port for storing things. Obviously it works. That's disgusting! Once every six months I plug him into a computer to upgrade his Cybertronic brain. But because it's Microsoft Windows it usually takes about three hours to complete. And then I have to run an antivirus scan too. I have a feeling I need to run another. Something else I have to do is keep his visor clean otherwise. I've thought about putting wipers on his visors but it seems that nobody makes them that small. I have recently upgraded him so he can run in silent mode. For that I have to keep his joint lubricant topped up. That is under the hood which is situated in his bag. I frequently check this area to make sure that all his motor functions are running smoothly and that his batteries are okay. It's also where I sometimes store sandwiches. Oh, that's why I smell of ham. And why Harley keeps following me. Hey. I also have to check that his Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections are working properly. For that, I use my super duper wrist computer. I hate this part. For Wi-Fi, I type in some words and then I hit speak, like so. Fred wears frilly knickers. <laughs> and for Bluetooth. Like I said, I hate this part. And finally, whenever he has a breakdown, I use conventional or specially made tools to repair him. In fact, I have an emergency set in the phone booth right now. Wait! <laughs> and that's how I maintain my robot. I hope that answers your question, Mr. Nosey. Anyway, it's time for me to go. Thanks for watching and subscribing if you have. Until the next time, peace out. Uh, I'm going to stop standing there. Ow! So I talked about maintaining my robot and all that. But actually I'm not very good at maintenance when it comes to the house. See I've kind of neglected it over the years. Let's see if I can just give you a quick list of the things that are wrong with it. The door handle on the front door falls off. Uh, my conservatory is starting to rot in many many places. <laughs> this is all honest truth stuff. My f back gate that's falling off the wall and I'm talking about the hinges, the wood around it, it's all rotted away. The carport that's been practically had all of its roof ripped off thanks to wind over the past few years. I mean there's still some there. My shed door's rotting away. I've also got a problem with my electricity. Right now I can't use my oven. I can use it to grill, that's fine, but when I try using it as a normal oven the electric plugs, everything just conks out. Same with my electric switch on the boiler upstairs. I turn that on and straight away all the power goes off on the plugs. Don't know what's happening there. Oh yeah, and the aerial up on my roof, it's sort of like this instead of like that. And I'm pretty sure there's others, but my point is I'm too lazy to maintain things. <laughs> and I'm cheap as well. And I'm now at that age where I'm starting to think maybe I should deal with these things. Yeah, I should. Yeah, maybe next year.